Hello YouTube from Larie Walls and the Mermaid Room. Some exciting news happening here today. Uh, the Red Sea Reefer still looking pretty good. Just thought I'd turn on the lights here for the hang on the back CPR refugium hanging on the front of my sump. Also, doing great. Harvested that out last week. And uh, all kinds of new growth already. You can see the types of calerpa we have in here. So it's doing really good. Everybody's doing real great. I've got some new teeny tiny little frags that I picked up the other day. Of course, I had to order plenty of sand for my new 240 gallon coming up. So I wanted to be all prepared. I got my sand and a couple of tiny little frags I picked up too. So we have some orange uh, cyphastria, teeny tiny little polyps. And the oops, the lighting is not real good right here. I don't know why. It should be looking a lot better than that. Anyhow, a couple of cute little things. Um, let's see if I can find it here. I zoomed in too far. Sorry. Here it is. It's real interesting color, Pavona. Very pretty color. So we'll see how those start going. And the Red Sea Reefer. I'm going to share some of the rocks from this aquarium and uh, some of the corals, but they're going to be shared over here where we are working with the just clean RODI water in here right now. And I'm making it as fast as I can to finish topping off the tank so we can complete the overall you know leak detection but um, things are looking real good we've got this pump going filters running with clear water through the half horse chiller set at 78 all that's doing great um, done some labeling already on the DJ switch where you have eight plugs available on this end of the tank and we've added a second one where we'll have eight additional plugs available on this side of the tank so uh, we've got everything in place I've added two socks two sock holders in the back here the simplicity protein skimmer we just don't have enough water to start the overflow process, but uh, it's coming. As fast as I can get the water made, it's going to go in. And I just wanted to kind of share that with you. It's kind of exciting. We've had a few bump in the road situations. Um, anyone who plays with plumbing knows how that can happen. But uh, one thing I'd like to share to everyone please don't make the mistake that we did. Um, first off, some of the plumbing pieces looked like we could reuse them. And especially um, bulkhead uh, connections under the bulkheads, but it really didn't work. We ended up putting in new shutoff valves. Um, and the connections to the bulkheads, everything had to be replaced. And you know, we've isolated the filter section here with shutoff valves on both sides, uh, obviously for maintenance. And I've tied up some of the wiring to uh, cables that my husband installed for me so I can keep the wiring up. And uh, look at this, this monster. This 40 watt Pentar UV sterilizer is installed and um, because we don't have any wood under the aluminum stand my husband had made, we've hung it with the uh, straps. 
you can kind of see how that looks. The thing is like four feet long. So we have the inlet pump over here, which is a size with the like one inch uh, rubber hose to the UV sterilizer. And it's just gonna go across here and then just fall back in to the exiting end of the sump where it will go back in. But this is the operating end of the UV where the light goes in. So I'll have you know room to take out the bulb once a year for maintenance on this end. And it, because the bulb is so long, we couldn't really get it out to the other end. So this is the direction the water flows anyway, so it's the best it was the best scenario all the way around. So there's some tricky plumbing my husband <laughs> performed on this end for me. A lot of connections, but uh, we had to re we had to route around the UV sterilizer and make sure everything was was good to go. So once we have water in here and uh, all the leak detection has been completed. I'll start adding salt, mixing our salt right here in the tank, and uh, bring in the close to 300 pounds of rock, live rock I have waiting. And um, some rock will be going from this tank, especially when you have huge rocks that are covered with green star polyps. You know, they'll be fine over there. And some of the softer corals will take a trip to the other tank, like this guy here. And, Probably the devil's hand, yes, will be over there. And hopefully uh, puffers and I'm really thinking about a humu. And probably the one of the first fish over there will be this guy. The sailfin tang really is overgrown, this tank. You can see how big and fat he is. Um, I'd really like to have much smaller fish with a lot more openings in this aquarium. A lot better flow would be good if I can get rid of some of these really big rocks with a lot of corals on them that are just they're just packed in here. So um, we'll see how things go. I'll probably end up tearing down what you see now. <clears throat> well, <laughs> mostly this end because of the rock that's under here. This is a big supporting rock, and it's got to go. So this end of the tank will probably not look like this after I cleared this out. Um, we have a lot of sand being kicked up by the clownfish. They're probably going to be moved also. So obviously there, there's going to be some changes in here, and it, it just may completely be different once I've taken some of the rocks and corals out of here and uh, we're going to put them over here. Something else that I'm going to do is I'm going to move my ice cap gyre, the 3K gyre I have installed on the Red Sea Reefer, and we're going to put it right over here on the end of this part of the tank where we actually have an overflow in the tank here. This little overflow goes down through the pump, comes back in through here, but I'm going to put the 3K gyre on the end of the tank, pushing the water over here. We'll see how well that 3K works on an eight foot long tank. Because I just went ahead and got the max spec um, 200 series gyre. So this one's gonna go with the XF 250. This one will go right here on the Red Sea Reefer in the same place that we have the uh, ice cap. And we'll see how that does in here. Kind of a test so I can report back to everybody my experiences. Also, if you have not gotten one of these flippers, <laughs> I can't even tell you how much I love this thing. It is so thin. <clears throat> Excuse me, against the aquarium wall that you can really get very close to the sand without bothering 
anything in the sand bed, you know, you can kind of really manage this flipper. I have to just say, I don't know what I was waiting for, but I finally got one and I, I'm, I highly recommend it. It is nice. Just a regular flipper. I love it. So there we go, people. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the update. The next time we see each other, there will be salt water and hopefully some rocks and some cool structures happening here. Bye!